Hello my crafty friends, it's Andrea from Prairie Sky Paper Crafts. I'm a bit of a what if crafter and I had this thought last night about an idea of how to use one of the new products in the catalog that starts on August the 3rd. Um, the product that I'm talking about is the snowy white velvet paper. Um, it is beautiful. It's got a really soft, lovely texture. Um, very similar in feel to the red velvet paper, um, if you were familiar with it from last year. So let's get started. Um, I am going to be using Snowman Season and the Snowman Punch for this card, as well as some Whisper White cardstock. I've got two pieces, four and a quarter by five and a half, and a four inch by three inch piece of the velvet paper. And this one is a freebie from the celebration flyer that is also starting on August the 3rd. Um, Peaceful Pattern, I believe, is the name of this one. I'll double check that um, and I'll put the supply list um, down below on the video as well. All right, so I'm going to move our designer series paper and everything else out of the way. Um, of course, we have adhesive. I'm going to be stamping with Memento Black for the snowman. Um, balmy blue, gray granite. I've got two blending brushes and four markers, soft suede, basic black. Um, this one is cherry cobbler and pumpkin pie. All right, so we're going to get started. So on my scrap piece of paper here, I cut it out with a basic borders die and we're going to be creating that for our um, horizon. So I'm just going to take and see where I want this guy to sit. Now I don't want it completely level, um, but I do want to have a little bit of dimension. So we're going to move it maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch up from the bottom. And we're going to start with the balmy blue. Now I love the blending brushes. They're super easy to clean. All you need to do is run them under some warm water you can use a little bit of detergent if you would like to. Um, as soon as they start to run clean, the water runs clean, they're good to go. If you're using a dark color or red, they may stain. Um, but if the water is clear and you rub it and it doesn't come off on your paper, you're good to go. There won't be any color transfer. So I'm just going to rub my brush into my ink pad. Now... As with any coloring medium, um, unless you're coloring an image, you want to start off your paper and work toward it. Now, because this is a sky and there's color variation, I'm not looking for perfection. I just want a little bit of color added to my paper. So there we go. We're done. Now, blue for now, we're finished with. Um, before we assemble our card, we're going to come back and add probably a few little snowflakes. Now, I'm also gonna grab the gray because I want a tiny bit of dimension um, and a tiny little bit of snow drift. So I'm just gonna add the slightest little bit of gray just to give it, there we go. Now, I don't know if you can see it, I can barely see it, but you can see a little bit of an outline. Um, just to kind of show some perspective and some dimension on that. Okay, so we're done with that for now. I'm going to set this guy off to the side. Now we're going to work on our snowman. So I just have a piece of basic white. I'm going to grab my snowman. And because the punch has the additional pieces that I want to use, the arms and the hat... Um, I want to make sure that I'm punching low enough on the cardstock that I'm not going to be wasting any of the paper, but far enough in that I can get all of the pieces that I want. Okay, so that should do it. Okay, so I'm just going to push my snowman down, cover up our ink pad so nothing gets covered. Now when I'm punching, I like to line it up first and then just give it a little bit of a grip just to make sure that it's exactly where I want it to be and then press and dump. 
that is the technical term. So you can see I got super, super close to the bottom. Um, and then I have the hat and the arms as well. Okay, so I'm gonna start, move the punch out of the way because we're finished with that now. Um, I'm gonna start with my soft suede and I like using the brush end for this. You can, if you wanted to, just punch your colors out of cardstock. Um, I like doing it this way because it gives me, it gives the card first of all, or the, the paper, a little bit of dimension. Um, and it's also a good paper saver. All right, so there's our arms colored. We're done with this guy. Um, the hat, I'm gonna do a band. I'm not gonna use the nose that was punched out. I'm just gonna give it a color. I'm gonna do the band, just a couple of lines. And the more you add, the darker it goes. Um, and you can actually see the color starting to absorb into the paper. And then we're just gonna add our black over top of it. And then turn. Okay. Markers are done. Snowman is done. I am going to pop the snowman up on dimensionals just to give it a little bit of pizzazz. So what I'm going to do is grab a dimensional and cut it in half. Now the reason that I'm cutting it in half is because the centerpiece where I'm going to be placing our arms is not very big. So I'm going to stick one of the arms in and then cover it with the dimensional so it doesn't move. And stick the other guy in. Oops. Come on. There we go. And then I'm just going to put one dimensional on the top and on the bottom. And we're going to flip the head over and do that as well. All right. Okay, so in order to avoid any unfortunate stamping accidents, also known as color getting where you don't want it on your snowman because it's up on dimensionals, we are going to grab... Hmm, I just had them. Where did they go? The snowflakes. Here we go. Um, actually, yeah, we use the bigger snowflakes on this one. And tone on tone is something that I love. So I'll grab the balmy blue. Put the sentiment back in there so it, nothing happens to it. And then I'm just going to stamp a few snowflakes. You can move your stamp around so that some are right side up, some are upside down. And I also like to... Um, not always ink up every single impression, just because it gives it a little bit of interest and depth as well. Okay, so I've got my stamp, my snowflakes are stamped. I'm gonna add just a tiny, oops, I forgot to color his nose too. Um, grab our pumpkin pie, and we're just gonna do a quick little color job on his nose. Ordinarily, with the memento, you don't wanna use a watercolor based medium because it can make it smudge but where this is such a small area it doesn't really show and it doesn't really matter so i am gonna do some wink of stella all over him so he's got a little bit of shine i love wink of stella it's probably well not probably it is my go-to embellishment and because this is water-based as well you want to avoid running over the areas that you've stamped in black, or you could get a little bit of a run. All right, so there's our Wink of Stella Snowman finished. I'm gonna turn them over, peel off our dimensional backs. Now I will have the entire supply list um, at the bottom of the video. And if you would also like, to subscribe to my newsletter. Um, I do a once a week newsletter that has exclusive PDF tutorials for my subscribers. And when you join, you also get a free five pack PDF tutorial. Okay, I'm just gonna stick this kind of at an angle, a jaunty little angle for his little hat. 
Oops. Stuck this just a little too high. It was sticking on his head. There we go. All right, there's our snowman. Now we're gonna bring in our card and finish it off. So we've got our designer series paper. Again, this pack is free with a $60 purchase Canadian before shipping and taxes during celebration, which goes until the end of September. So I really like the white snowflakes on this. So I'm going to have that be my, and my tape just ran out. So I'm gonna have the white plaid or plaid with the white snowflakes facing forward. This guy needs a little something behind him. I can use. I think the mesh ribbon will give it just enough little sparkle and shine to add some interest. So I'm just going to line it up and do a rough cut. Um, let's see, I think I'll do three strips. And just have it line up right behind the card. Two. And then if you make, if you don't cut it exactly, you can always trim it with scissors later. Okay, so I'm gonna add just a tiny little bit more adhesive on this than I normally would. Um, just because the adhesive needs to stick the ribbon as well as the back of the card. So I'm just going to put this kind of overlap it a little bit. And you can kind of stretch it out a little bit to get the coverage that you would like as well. Okay, oh, that's pretty, I like that. Okay, and we're gonna stick our snowman on. Um, yeah, we'll do it about there looks. Whoops, okay, need a little bit more adhesive. So we'll put some adhesive on top of our ribbon as well. Now a tip two that I have for the velvet paper. Um, if you've ever dealt with velvet, you know that it can pick up absolutely everything in its vicinity. So what I did last year um, with the red velvet was I just took a piece of scotch tape or masking tape and just rubbed it over the top. And it did a really, really good job of masking or picking up the stuff. So there's our card completely finished. I really like the front of this, so I'm not gonna put a sentiment on it. Um, when it's finished, I'll tuck a sentiment in behind. So don't forget to hit subscribe so you're notified every single time a new video comes live. And if you have any questions or comments, you can reach me at the email down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.